Hello, good morning viewers. Here is our first problem on the true bearing. Let us read the question. A boy walks six kilometers from a point P to a point Q on a bearing of 65 degrees. He then walks to a point R a distance of 13 kilometers that is from Q to R is 13 kilometers on a bearing of 146 degrees we are asked to calculate the distance from P to R to the nearest kilometer remember I told you this word here is very important in bearing from it specify where we're going to construct that angle. So if you are solving problems on that true bearing, I will always advise you to start with the first bearing mentioned from the question. You can see the first bearing is 65 degrees. So where exactly this 65 degrees is formed? You can see it here from P. So that is the first location we need to sketch. So the first location should be P. This is exactly his initial stage. This is where he started walking. He started walking from P, moving on to Q on a bearing of 65 degrees. So we are going to construct angle 65 degrees here from P. So this is our knot pole because all angles are measured from the knot clockwise. We don't go back. Okay, from here we are going to construct an angle of 65 degrees. Roughly, it must not be perfect, but you have to be very careful while constructing these angles. So from the knot or P, we construct an angle of 65. Roughly, it will be here. So using this line, going to Q, you're going to uh, calculate six kilometers. A freehand sketch, let me call this six kilometers. And this is bearing of zero, six, five. This point should be point Q because the boy was moving from P to Q. So this is our Q. This is point Q. Point Q also must have a knot. If you like, you can even extend it to the south. But the knot pole is compulsory. And it is not compulsory that you must write knot. We all know this is knot pole. So we are done with the first sketch and you can equally include this angle. Remember this angle is alternate to this. So we can insert it as 65 degrees. This is 65 degrees. Remember I told you uh, in this case you don't have to attach zero here. But from the question we are given 65 degrees. Any angle given to you from the question you must write it in three digits. But personally I introduced 65 degrees so it is not necessary it has to be in the three digits okay from q the boy keeps on going again a distance of 13 kilometer so uh, the second trip from q to r is even uh, longer than the first trip but on a bearing of 146 degrees so remember we are uh, doing a rough sketch so if i am to introduce the four cardinal points This is the north, this is the south, this is the east, and this is the west. We want to construct an angle of 146 here, but this is already 90 degrees. Since this is 90 degrees, but our main target is 146 degrees, what is left for us to complete this 146 degrees having a 90 degrees here? The remaining angle must be uh, 56 because 56 plus 90 is 146. So we are going to construct an angle of 56 
from the east this is east from the east we are going to construct an angle of 56 roughly we have something like this but make sure that this line since we are doing a kind of rough sketch make sure it is longer than this one because this is six kilometers while this one is 13 so let it be a little bit longer something like this this is 13 kilometers and this is point r which must also have a north pole we are done with our sketching because the question stops here then we are asked to calculate the distance from p to r where is our p this is p this is r since we are looking for the distance between these points we are free to use our ruler and connect these two points together and calculate the distance we want to calculate the distance uh, between p to r so i can even call this x uh, this is 56 degrees because 56 plus 90 is 146 but remember that the whole of this line from north to south is 180 180 so from the north to this point leading to r is 146 what we have left is 34 degrees this is 34 degrees because 34 plus 56 plus 90 must give us 180 degrees so by subtracting uh, 146 from 180 you shall obtain this 34 degrees you can see this angle is 56 this angle is 34 degrees if you combine them together the whole of this angle must be 99 degrees so now we can use this uh, three information to find the value of x because we are given the length of this as six kilometers we are given this as 13 kilometers and we can see that the angle in between them is 99 degrees so how can we find the value of x which is a distance from p to r remember i told you the knowledge of geometry and trigonometry is always very important in solving problems on that bearing whenever you are given two opposite sides an angle in between them you are always free to use cosine rule to find the missing side if you have this uh, and this is a this is b this is c this is c this is a this is b and we have an angle here as theta and maybe are you looking for this side a which corresponds to this you can say a squared from cosine rule is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c multiplied by cos theta cos of this angle this is cosine rule if you are looking for a side so we can apply this formula here you can see a is this x squared so we can say x squared equals b squared you can see b here so we can say 13 squared plus c squared which correspond to this we have 6 squared minus 2 times 13 times 6 times cos of that angle in between them which is 99 here 99 here so x squared will be equal to 13 squared which is 169 plus 6 squared which is 36 minus we can use our calculator 2 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 6 we have 156 
multiply by cos 99. What is cos 99? We have a negative result. We have negative 0 0.156 approximately. This is equal to 169 plus 36. We have 200. And five, this is negative sign, but they are multiplying together. Negative, negative will turn to positive. Then we are free to multiply 156 by 0.156. And we have 24. Point three four approximately. This is x squared. We can continue to the other side. So let us add these two together. 205 plus 24.34. We have 229. So x squared is equal to uh, 229.336. But what we are looking for is x, not x squared. So we are free to take the square root of both sides. So if you take the square root of this side, you will be left with only x. And you have to take the square root of this value, 229.336. We're going to take the square root of that. And our answer, because it says we should leave the answer to the nearest kilometer, so we are going to round it. So x finally, or we should call it as PR, which is a line, is approximately equal to 15 kilometers. So this is what we have as the distance from P to R. And this is only what I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.